Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to Pink Crafty World. Today I have a project share for you guys. Um, I hope everybody's wonderful and everything is great. Uh, today is Wednesday and I wish you the best. Uh, in my side, I'm just having a hard time. So I was just finished praying to the Lord that um, put happy thoughts in my mind um look things a different way because i'm having a hard time when you um go out of your way and you give so much of you and um you're not expecting it's not that i'm expecting um people that do for me it's not that but if I think that the most fair thing is if I do for you, when I need you, be there for me. And people nowadays, they don't know that. They don't know how to deal with that. They don't know how to appreciate. And um, I am in a hard time. So I'm praying to the Lord to help me to understand this. And uh, I'm, I'm very, very upset. So and I don't like to be upset. And I don't like to bring this to my channel. So I decide to, you know, tune it down. Um, pray for me, for uh, God to keep me thinking positive and to be happy because it's a beautiful day. And in the world, it's people that is worse than me and they need more than me. And... I don't need to be complaining. So if you are going through the same type of day, uh, just pray to the Lord and pray for the best and ask God to help you understand these type of people because um, they probably lack a lot of uh, God in their life. And I'm not going to go... Um, to discuss anymore because like i said you know i just want to let you know uh if you're having kind of the same day just pray pray and pray because and talk to god because he will answer you so that being said now i'm going to share with you guys my project um my project um is a flip book uh i think you know, I see other people that they share these type of projects before and that's how they call it. So I'm going to call mine a flip book and I use um, this uh, beautiful collection uh, from Bow Bunny and it's the Butterfly Kisses. So I'm sorry about the interruption my husband called and I, I forgot what I was saying, but um, uh, I was saying that I call it flip book and I was using the Bow Bunny collection uh it's a uh, butterfly kisses and you guys know that i share with you guys uh not too long ago i purchased this at uh tuesday morning and again that's the skill right there if you guys want to search for it it's a beautiful beautiful collection um i just uh, i think i got it the wrong way i i just love it i just like as soon as i grab it i start working with and I have to say that it's just gorgeous. I love the color skins. You guys know I love floral and I love butterflies and everything in the pastel colors and shabby chic. Uh, that's that's me. And um, yeah, so I create this uh, again this flip book and um, I think it come out pretty. Um, I don't know what you guys gonna be your opinion about this, but I'm going to grab it and I'm going to show you closer um, how everything looks. I use chipboard pieces and I use uh, floral pieces from my stash. And I think these florals are from the Julie's Boutique, but they match very well. Uh, the paper pad, I use some gems uh, that I have to embellish and i distress the paper around a little bit um, because i like that look and then in the next page i create a packet and i decorate it with one of the 
uh, ephemera pieces and again I distress the paper and I uh, use this tag that came in the ephemera and I use some of the ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby and if I don't mistake I think I didn't get this actually my friend uh, Lisa uh, she sent me this thank you so much Lisa um, so yeah I make that packet of course I will be putting um, I will be adding things because I'm going to send this to some someone and um, I'm going to put some stuff in this um, flip book um, some little gift for the person and um, you know I have a packet here where I can put more things still like if you can fit more more items in there so yeah and um, this is how that page looks like I just love that packet and I love love the tag it's so beautiful with that mason jar I think the tag is so cute so yes then in this page i just use one of my dies and i cut out the word hello i want to use that in the front but uh, then i run out of space so i decide to put it there it's always good to say hello so don't perf don't matter what and then i use this cut out from the collection that says perfectly imperfect and i love it i just love that uh and that's how I look. I also use these, uh, it's like a bumblebee or something like that, a bee or something. And um, I just put um, glossy accent, if you guys can notice. Um, it shines a little bit and it's because I put a glossy accent in the body of the um, bee. Then in the next page, first thing I create, um, is this beautiful banner um clip banner type thing here and i use a piece of paper from the collection and i also use a shipboard piece from the shipboard pieces that came uh, for the collection and i use flowers from my stash and uh, if i move the camera i'm going to apologize but uh, I use some flowers that I have from my stash and the leaves and um, and then I use these beads that says love and I put the word love there. It looks a little bit wonky. It didn't come out completely straight, but it doesn't look bad either. So I <laughs> uh, hope the recipient appreciates it and loves it because like it says in this here, it's perfectly imperfect. <laughs> so then um oh let me move this anyway then i put in this page um for the middle pages i use uh the same background paper and it's in this blue and purplish color and again i distress it all around i use a butterfly uh like a chipboard or um wood like a wood veneer kind of uh, from Bow Bunny and it's this butterfly and I use this banner from the uh, um, ephemera from the same collection and I cut out the word awesome with one of my dies and I use that beautiful beautiful coppery paper orangey coppery because it goes very well with the orangey color uh, that the paper brings and that paper was gifted to me by my friend um, Carmen from Carmen Treasure. Please go ahead and check her channel. Um, she is right now having this awesome tutorial on how to make the Fofusha or oh, Fofusha dolls. I'm sorry, the Fofusha dolls. So go ahead and check her out because you guys know she is an excellent crafter and if you guys uh forget about her she is the one who sent me the beautiful closet with those uh vintage style dresses and i know you guys did like that so go check her out because she's an excellent crafter um going back to this i also make a shaker with one of the core outs and i use um uh, some tool that i have this orangey color tool that i have a lot 
and um i stitch it i'm not too good at stitching but you guys see that i implement the stitching on this here and i also oops and I also did stitch um, this paper clip around. It's, has, um, it's been stitched. So I'm proud of myself for that. So I think it come out so, so cute and adorable. And I hope the recipient appreciates it and loves it as much as I do um, love when I create it. And I just love the piece of flip book. So in the next page, I grab some of the banners from um, the uh, ephemera uh, pieces and I put these two banners here. I kind of glue one in top of the other and then I create this packet here. And the packet I created um, using a piece of uh, the paper and then I sew it all around. I sew that and then I use one of my EK Tools uh, punchers and I give this packet this shape here. And it's nothing in this packet yet because I'm gonna be putting things here, but actually I don't wanna show uh, what I'm gonna be putting here uh, because then the recipient might see the video and they know, oh, Maria's going to give me this and I want to be a surprise. So, and I use um, these butterflies. Um, these butterflies are stickers. They came completely flat. And then when you use them, you fold them. Uh, and then they look like that, like three-dimensional. And it's so cute. I love, love these. Um, I don't remember what I get those from, to be honest. But I know they're cute. Then I use... Uh, what I was saying is because I got another interruption and I really apologize for all this. Um, I use this die cut um, from the, uh, this is a Crafter Companion uh, die. And this die is so cute. I always thought that it's going to be bigger, but it's not. But it's still, it's cute and it's adorable, but it's just that big. And I got this long time ago at Tuesday morning for $3.99, so... I don't know, you probably, you probably can find that still, you know, like, they still have it. I don't know. It's been a while. But, um, yeah. Uh, sorry. This is how that looks. And this is how these two pages look. And then I have this page here. Again, I use the paper. I distress the paper. I make this uh, pom-pom clip up here. It's just a pompon, a, a tiny pompon that I have a bunch of them, different colors. So I thought if I put this bright one, it kind of bright everything else. And if the person don't like it, they can use it for something else, you know. But anyway, I put that there. I make that. And then I um, use this uh, die that I recently, recently got this... Um, I think, um, is it? Let me see something, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. It's this here. Let me show you. Oops, I have a bunch of stuff here. Okay, um, it's this here. And this is from the Reese. And I have to say, the uh, this brand of dice, that's the first brand that I ever purchased. My first dice was from this brand, and I still have them. And I'm telling you, these cut like butter. They work so, so good. I just love it. I just run it one time um, through this, with this paper. And this paper is actually thick. It's not, you know, fancy, uh, you know, no fancy, uh, flancy paper. It's just like very sturdy cardstock. And I cut it and it just came out beautiful. So since we have a bird, um, what is it that? Uh, the green ones that goes to the flower. Oh my God, what is the name? We call it Zumbador in Spanish. Well, I can remember right now. But it, since it has a bird there, bird there, I just, uh, you know, incorporate that bird um, die cut. Then um, down here with um, my 
puncher. And this is a mini library packet puncher that you guys know that I hold these oh, from the Goodwill. Steal the price in there for five bucks. Um, I create this. Um, let me take this away. Okay, and this for now. I create this tiny packet there. Look how cute is that? Isn't that cute? And it came, the, the thing came out like that. And then I score line here because it doesn't score. You kind of have to, you know, see where this line and just uh, score there and score there and then I make a score line there and then fold it and glue. And that's what I did. It's very easy and it's so cute. It came out adorable. And for that, I create this um, banner here that um, you can use it to mark a paper, um, to mark a book or your magazine where you're reading. You know, you just can put it there. And since they have this, um, this piece here, you know, you can use it as a bookmarker. See? And um, it keeps coming off because I have so many stuff in here. But anyway, I did that. And then I used one of these hearts that I get, these puffy hearts. I get them at um, Target. And I just distress around that. And I just decide to put it there. And then I create this cute um, paper clip. And these are not like glass beads these are more like plastic beads i have a tons of them and you know for a paper clip let's be real i know a lot of us uh, like the fancy stuff and the glass beads and all that but you know to use in a in um a flip book or in your planner sometimes they uh, you can create with this and they came out very very cute you know uh, it, to me it doesn't matter I hope that the person don't care about it either. I tried to do the best of the job that I could with this. I'm not, you know, I'm not good at it. I'm just learning and, you know, and I, I think it come out so beautiful. I just, I have to say that I just love it. So, and I just decide to put it in here and maybe let it hang like that from the bottom. And it looks so cute. So, yeah, I put that there. Then, in this page, again, this is the last page. I distress around it. And I got this cut out. I create this mini rosette with uh, uh, two pieces of the paper from the same collection. And I put one of the butterflies uh, chipboard pieces here. And then I have a stamp. And I think I put the stamp back um, where the stamps go but i have this stamp that says friendship is a sheltering tree by cole rich i think um i just decide to stamp it there and i think it looks so nice and because of the background of the page here uh, has like a bird cages i have this die from spellbinder and it's a bird cage and i just cut out in the same orange uh, paper uh, the Carmen sent me and uh, yeah I think it come out so cute it looks very nice and what I'm thinking to do and I'm not sure it I probably make um, a hole here and I put an eyelid and then from there I will put um, the little gift that I'm gonna send to the person you know it's gonna be tiny stuff of course but um, the person at the same time, they can keep this to decorate. They can even, you can even journal. When you receive something like that, you can even use it as a journal. And that way you don't, you're not wasting this uh, type of project that your crafty friends send you. So take that in consideration. So, guys, I know that I talk too much. Uh, but I just wish you the best. And I hope you guys are having an excellent Wednesday. And I know mine is getting a lot better already because uh, Jesus is with me and he told me that he has the control of everything. And I know it's like that. So love you guys. I'm so excited uh, to tell you guys again that 
we reached 2,000 subscribers. I just can't believe it. I'm so, so happy, so glad, and so thankful for every single one of you. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for your lovely, lovely comments. And I appreciate every single one of you guys. You guys don't have idea how happy you guys make me. And um, if you're watching and you are not subscribed, I'm going to ask you to please subscribe because the channel, uh, we're going to bring a lot of crafting and a lot of good stuff. Uh, we do hauls. We talk about life in general we do a little bit of everything and you guys know that and uh thank you so much for watching give me a thumbs up if you guys like what i create leave me a comment down below if you guys have any questions i'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions and of course i will see you guys in my next video bye bye now